Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Mopo, where it's all a matter of personal opinion, it's all Mopo. I'm at Dave Roach 83 here with at the Scientist. Uh, check us out on Twitter at It's All Mopo or, you know, at our names. <laughs> uh, we're here with another 31 days of Halloween. Uh, hit you off a, re- a recommendation, get you in the spirit for the holiday. Uh, which is funny, you know, we'll get a little bit off track here, but as I'm typing these in, if I don't capitalize Halloween, they try to say I spelled it wrong. Oh, which, you know, because it's a proper... Right, but it's not a legal holiday. So, what, you know, what's up with that, Mopo? But, um, <laughs> you know, uh, we're going to talk about uh, Ghostbusters today. Um, you know, it's not, Whether it's the new Ghostbusters or the old yeah. Ghostbusters. Oh, boy. But um, it's not starting any fights here. Uh, but, you know, uh, new Ghostbusters and old, old Busters, you guys behave. But um, Separate corners. <laughs> you know, it's... It's not necessarily scary, but, you know, at the time when the first Ghostbusters came out, I think a lot of people thought that that it was like a horror movie. Well, and it kind of did have that. I mean, it was definitely some scary stuff in it, but, like... Like that librarian at the beginning? Yeah, well, I was thinking that exactly. Like, that's probably the only real scary part in the movie. Oh, yeah, but the movie itself did have a serious tone, even though it was a blatant comedy. Right, it's almost like a satire. It wasn't slapsticky. It was very seriously and well-made. Oh, absolutely. Like, I think it's a great comedy, and they bring it to, you know, more of a realistic standing for ghosts. Yeah, especially, like, in the 80s or whatever. But, you know, obviously, like... Uh, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and, um, Jeepers Creepers. I, you know, the man's dead. Winston and Egon! <laughs> yeah, the man's dead. Um, it's a shame. I can't remember his name, but that's all Mopo. Um, you know, they, they do such a good job, you know, and then they bring Winston into the, the acting. They're so good that they make a cartoon out of it. I mean, like. Several cartoons. Well, because you, know, you have the real Ghostbusters, which is based they, off of the movie. Yeah, but and then you have like Ghostbusters. It has nothing to do with them at all. So well, yeah, but it's kind of like a new age. It's like younger kids, and they got like the car where the car actually uh, talks and shit. Yeah, yeah, but that's still like a spinoff. I'm just talking about off the power. Basically, these guys' performance. You know, they they could have changed the characters up all around. You know, if they want to, but. Um, very, very iconic movie, and then like you know, they they, they come out with this new movie uh, where they they kind of made it all female, which it wasn't bad. It, it was better it, than I thought it was. It's gonna not be. bad that they made it an all female cast. It's bad that they that, made every dude in it dumb as shit. Well, yeah. Well, first of all, homeboy ain't a good actor to begin with. I don't know if you ever seen his performances as Thor or in Star Trek. But um I don't recall Star Trek he, but in the in the first remake Star Trek he was like Captain Kirk's dad. And you remember at the beginning That's who they had him play? Yeah. He was Captain Kirk's dad and it was the most horrible performance in a you know, a monologue type pre movie scene I've ever seen. He is terrible. So he's ter- but my, this guy can't even answer a phone. He's like, oh, my, what's that ringing? My more thing is they stole from the original movies and acted like the original movies never happened. And that, that's just embarrassing or whatever for them. And a lot of people, I don't think that's that's what made people, you know, a lot of people angry. But, uh, hey, you know, check out Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, the new ones, the cartoons. And it'll definitely get you ready. Definitely for recommend the cartoons because yeah, the cartoons probably the best. Out that all. was amazing because it almost picked up where it left off. And it, I mean, aside from having Slimer as their sidekick yeah. buddy, no, nah, it's just like you know, uh, he's almost the mascot. It was just like, yeah, damn it, con- Slimer, you ate my sandwich again. <laughs> continued adventures for sure. But uh, yeah, that, that's our opinion. Let us know what you think. Remember, it's all Mopo, and uh, have a happy Halloween.